Hey guys, I'm Veronica and I'm Vanessa and for this video we are here on behalf of We Heart It and we are taking you guys on an exclusive Q&A with the cast of The, the Duff, Duff Movie. So, so it's going to be fun and exciting. We're excited so let's go. This way. <laughs> Well, we are here on behalf of We Heart It, an image-based app that's all about providing positive influence and, and creativity and expressing yourself. And so on We Heart It, you can heart pictures and all these fun things. So what do you guys heart about each other? Gosh, I love, I love, <laughs> I love that question. <laughs> it's, no, it's so really cute. Okay, so I love that she is so smart and, and beautiful, and yet she's supposed to be Bambi, but somehow I don't see it. I don't oh. see it. She is a brainiac, for real. Yeah, no, no <laughs> If you guys don't know, Skylar is one of the smartest people that I know. And, and then we have oh, another nice. beautiful lady, but also oh. so funny and, and Latin like <laughs> me, so we kind of bond over yeah. that, I think. I absolutely heart Bianca's style. This girl, like, in the she morning we'd it. go to set, just looked like a rock star. It was like, <laughs> it's 5.30 in the morning, and you look like you're walking off for runway. That's true. She's so I, confident. I legit looked ugly in the morning and you were like coming in like a beauty queen. <laughs> like your free spirit is amazing and Bella is absolutely the funniest human I've ever met. <laughs> and made long days on set just so enjoyable. And she's so I honest. That's funny. That's why I make this yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. She's yeah. unapologetically herself in the best of ways and I absolutely adore it. Thank yeah, you. that's so true. Bella is like the one where you wouldn't expect it but she says stuff and you're like, oh my gosh, she's <laughs> so <laughs> crazy in the best way possible. Thank I'd be you. like, what is going on? Seriously, I love guys. it. You guys are making me tear up. So oh. Seriously. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys heart about each other? Um, Where do I start to heart? <laughs> so much to heart. <laughs> Robbie is like the smartest and funniest and nicest. It's like sort of frustrating actually. You're like, what a perfect human. Oh, come on. Like he's like the coolest guy in the universe. Seriously, oh, I could no. never say enough. May is so sweet and she says these kind things about me. Which is my favorite part. At a part very about. minimal fee. <laughs> yeah. A very minimal um, fee. Uh, working with May was incredible. I was intimidated when when I first went in to read with her, and uh, she couldn't have been nicer and so funny and always on and just a blast. You're so much fun. Oh, awesome. So, okay, the d film deals a lot with self acceptance, and a lot of girls in high school deal with this today, and so um, what would you say to girls who think as themselves as a deaf? Hmm. Well, first of all, I think the term duff, it seems really horrible and it's like all these things, but it's not real. It's more like an illumination of this need that people that are threatened by you have to put you in a box and try to contain you. And I think especially like people that shine really brightly and can do everything and they're, you know, really interesting, people get really threatened by that. And so I think they try to put you in a box, but it's not, it doesn't mean anything. You're, nobody is that. Nobody is a, is, is a duff, like, or everybody is. That's mm -hmm. what Robbie always says. And I think that's the whole point is it's like, Bianca chooses to not give that, that word any power. And so it, she's like, you know what, if being who I am makes me a duff, then great, I'll take it because she's comfortable with that and she accepts it. And I think, you know, it's up to you to not give it power. And I know it's hard and it's painful, but it's always, it's within you to not give anything that doesn't feel like it suits you and makes you your best self any power. And you know, it just that you're not alone. Like if you're getting bullied, if you're going through this stuff, I went through it. I still deal with it. Everybody I know has been through it in one form or another and it gets easier and it gets better and you're not alone. Yeah, the person who's doing the bullying, that's the person with the problem. and. I mean, like, like May was saying, I always say there's either no such thing as a duff or everyone's a duff because if you can make the argument for one person, you can make it for anybody else. So I think, you know, just embrace it. Just be who you are and enjoy it and, you know, spend time with the people who like you for that. You're putting yourself in a box, ladies. You better climb up out of that. That's not a cute look. It's, it, it's, it's really not cute to, to label yourself. I mean, and, and let other people label you. You should be you. Be quirky. Be klutzy. Be, have, have drool out of your mouth while you're, you know, sleeping in class. Do whatever you want. I think it's important that, like, you know, when we're going around and like liking other people's things and hearting other people's things that we take the time to sort of heart something about ourselves. It's mm. like, what am I happy about with myself? Like, you know, even if you are a duff, be the best duff that you can be. Like, be the best weirdo, be the best yeah. sort of quirky oh, person. And so I think it's important that we sort of find something about ourselves, even if it's just one thing that we're like, yeah, I'm a duff and I love it. You yeah. know? Also remember that everyone is very quirky in their own yeah. ways. You yeah. just have to search and find it. 
Oh, they're even always if, there. Even if you don't see it right away, mm -hmm. just you have to accept that like everyone's weird at their own like in their own way, and so just be the best weirdo. That's like be the best be weirdo. The best you weirdo. Can be. Yeah, <laughs> be <Absolutely>. weird. <laughs> yeah. Um, if there was one message our fans could take away from the movie, what would it be? That Robbie Mel was shirtless. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you can heart that. Yeah. You can yes. heart that. You can heart that. Yeah. A few of times. <laughs> I wonder Just. what Robbie's going to think now that we've mentioned this several times. <laughs> heart shirtless Robbie. Like... <laughs> but I think we I think also Robbie heart the heart of Robbie. the movie. Like the yeah. movie has so much heart to it and is just so honest and real. We hope that the takeaway is people go, oh my God, yes, I totally relate to this. So I hope that that's sort of the. The takeaway. I hope people That's think it's totally really funny because honestly, I died while reading the script and, and you never know how things are going to turn out when you're yeah. filming and you try it so many different ways and especially with comedy, you kind of beat a dead horse when you do it over and over. And so when I saw it all cut together, I mean, like, I don't want to sound full of myself, <laughs> but I was extremely blown away by how amazing everyone did yeah. from our DP to yeah. our director to our lovely ladies. I mean, everything was, was so freaking good. I like what Robbie was saying about really like focusing your energy on what makes you your best self and bringing people around you who love you for who you are because I think that really takes you down the right path. I think anytime you start trying to change yourself for anyone else or to fit into certain boxes that don't feel natural and this is, goes beyond high school. I mean I still, you know, I get frustrated when I miss out on roles because people don't think I'm like the leading lady type or whatever but I realize if somebody doesn't see me that way or doesn't know who I am or see me that as that, you know, I wouldn't want to be working with them anyway mm -hmm. because we'd probably be clashing or we wouldn't have the same idea about stuff. So I think just really like stay true to who you are and fight through the, the tough stuff. It'll make you stronger and you'll come out the other side with a, a group of people around you that's really supportive. I completely agree. I actually don't have anything to add. <laughs> I <laughs> don't either. That's a good answer. answer. Yay, you heard that it. answer. Yeah, yeah, that's wonderful. Well, you guys are awesome and Thank amazing. You. you guys did phenomenal Thanks, in guys. the film. Yeah, Thank you guys you. are awesome. So, so. sweet. Yeah. 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 You guys were great in the movie. So. Thank, yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. We heart you guys. We oh, heart you guys. Okay. Well, thank Great. you guys so much. Thank you. thank you. And that's a wrap on our interview with the cast of the Duff movie. It was so much fun. The cast was so awesome. They were so nice. What an awesome experience. Yeah, thank you to We Heart It. Also, the movie comes out February 20th. So you guys should go check out the movie and watch it because it's funny. It's hilarious. Oh, yeah, it's so funny. Also, Make sure to follow The Duff on We Heart It and follow us on We Heart It. And if you don't have a We Heart It, then, then you, you should, should go make an account right now because you, it's fun. You're just you now. You will regret it. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel. And follow us on all of our social medias and check out some of the other videos we have done. And we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye.